So we always have many rumors about Chaka and his future, but the reality is that as of today, there are no negotiations ongoing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on something important regarding Arsenal, the midfield future. Granit Xhaka, Declan Rice, and also, guys, something on Kim, Min, Jay, and Manchester United. Let's jump into it together. <music> Let me start with Arsenal with important updates on the future of Granit Xhaka because from what I understand guys and this is an important update today the negotiation between Arsenal and Bayer Leverkusen for Granit Xhaka to leave Arsenal and join Leverkusen is very advanced it's not a done deal yet but it's very advanced it's a negotiation in the region of 15 million euros for Granit Xhaka the negotiation is very advanced why because from what I understand the conversations between Arsenal and Chaka to extend the contract never really started. So we always have many rumors about Chaka and his future, but the reality is that as of today, there are no negotiations ongoing between Chaka and Arsenal over a new deal. And so the idea is to part ways at the end of the season. This is a concrete, really concrete scenario. This is why there is a negotiation ongoing between Bayer Leverkusen and Arsenal for Granit Chaka. We know German clubs always wanted to be uh, fast on the market they don't like to arrive like in August to make big business big deals and so this is why they want to be fast for example Bayer Leverkusen already signed Grimaldo on a free transfer is already official it was an exclusive news I told you a few days ago and now they are in very advanced talks for Granit Xhaka what's the point they are offering an important contract to the player a four-year deal so this is a long contract a really good contract for Granit Xhaka and also the opportunity to be the leader of the project at Bayer Leverkusen as a player of course at the same time we with Arsenal, the conversation is really quiet, as I told you, nothing is advanced on a new deal, and this is why this is a very likely future for Granit Xhaka to join Bayer Leverkusen with Xabi Alonso as a coach. So keep an eye on this one, because we know, guys, that Arsenal will have a big, big impact in the market in the summer. They're looking for a new centre-back, and they sent their scouts multiple times to follow many players in that position, Mohamed Simakan, for example, from Red Bull Leipzig, but also another player they always appreciated is Tapsoba from Bayer Leverkusen. So they are following centre-backs and they are also working on the midfield because they knew at least one more midfielder. It could be two, depending on the also the budget they decide to invest on that position. And we know the situation of Declan Rice. He's always been a top target for Arsenal. And from what I understand, he remains the top target in the midfield. There have been conversations between Declan Rice's side and Arsenal, and also uh, between Arsenal people internally. So the manager, Mikel Arteta, Edu, the director, discussed about Declan Rice already in January. And they are keep going with these conversations now because Arsenal want to prepare an official bid in the next weeks. This is not something imminent because West Ham intention is not to negotiate. Uh, they want to focus on the conference league. They want to focus on the final games of the season. And then in June to discuss about Declan Rice's future. We know Declan Rice will not sign a new deal at West Ham. I told you that one year ago. Uh, it was criticized by uh, David Moyes, but this is the reality. Rice is not going to sign a new deal at West Ham. But there is still time to negotiate and there is absolutely room to make a deal this summer for Declan Rice. So Arsenal will be there. Arsenal will attack the situation of Declan Rice and now it's a priority for them to go on that one. So Declan Rice remains in Arsenal list, is discussed internally and they want to try to make a bid in the next weeks once the situation will be clear on West Ham side, also on the price tag to start the negotiations. Arsenal know they will not be alone on Declan Rice because of Chelsea interest, because of other English clubs, including Manchester United, keeping an eye on the situation because all of them will need a new midfielder, but Arsenal want to push on this one and the exit of Granit Xhaka could be also a message that they will do. Something important in the midfield. And then guys, to close today's video, I wanted to mention Kim Min Jae. Guys, if you are following the channel, you remember I told you in November, in December, Manchester United are sending their scouts to follow Kim Min Jae, this Napoli centre-back. They've always been there in attendance. And I repeat it to you in February, March, May United have strong interest in Kim Min Jae because they consider him a very, very good and talented centre-back. But what's the point? May United in this moment can't trigger the release clause because the release clause of Kim Min Jae, uh, a bit less than 50 million euros, is around 47 million euros, is only valid in the first 
days of July and not now. So Man United are not advancing now on this deal. They are speaking to the player side because they like the player. They are monitoring the player. So there is a conversation and Man United interest has always been confirmed. I told you many times, but before saying it's a done deal, we have to be careful on this release close situation on other clubs potentially joining the race. For example, Newcastle also sent their scouts multiple times to follow Kim Min Jae, but they know that Man United are working on this uh, since long time and also guys on Napoli because Napoli will try to offer Kim a new contract with a different release clause a higher release clause so they will push the player to sign a new deal let's see what's going to happen May United remains active on this deal but it's not a done deal as reports said and so guys let me know your thoughts on all these stories Kim Min Jae and May United how do you see this one would you like to see him at May United also Grani Chaka and Bayer Leverkusen your reaction on this one and on Declan Rice guys here in the comments remember to like this video turn on the notification bell subscribe to the channel and see you soon Thank you.